Hello and welcome to the TomCast. I'm Tom, president and dictator for life of 515comics.com. This last Saturday was the Indie Author Book Expo here in Des Moines. Uh, it was held at the Blank Park Zoo, which was pretty cool because I haven't been to the zoo in a while and I got to walk around the zoo for free, so that was pretty great. Also, the event was great. <laughs> I, I got to see animals. Animals are fun. I was thinking a little bit about how Book shows have a little bit of a different atmosphere and attitude compared to comic cons. Uh, I've been to a couple author events, a couple book shows specifically that aren't comic themed. Uh, and yeah, the attitude is just very different. The atmosphere is very different. That's what I just said before. I feel like authors might talk a little bit about their work in a different way. <laughs> Uh, than, than artists do, and it's hard to describe, really. It was really cool to meet a lot of other local authors. I learned a really interesting fact, which I'm going to say is a fact, but this is like fourth-hand information, because some guy that I was talking to at this event read it in some article a while ago. So, grain of salt. But he said that Iowa is per capita the number two place in the world for artists. Is that, am I using per capita right? I have no idea. I think that's what the guy said. Anyway, there's, look, did I say artists? I meant authors. Wow, it's late. Wow, I'm tired. All right, so Iowa has the second most authors for the population, like for the population of the state, compared to the rest of the world. Um, Number two, we have a lot of authors. There's a lot of creative people here in Iowa, which I would not have guessed. Not that I, I love Iowa. I like living here. I consider myself a creative person, and I know a lot of creative people. But I guess I just would have assumed that there would be a larger percentage of creative people elsewhere. I suppose since Iowa doesn't have necessarily a huge population, maybe it's easier to have that higher percentage here, but, you know, I mean, I guess we got places like, you know, Wyoming and Idaho beat, so that's pretty cool. Sorry, I have no idea if there's even, like, more or less people living in Idaho and Wyoming than in Iowa. Beside the point, it's really interesting to talk to different creative types. And when you're at a comic convention, there aren't necessarily a lot of just straight authors there. Uh, there are definitely people who maybe don't do the art for their comic and are just writing their comics, but I, I just feel like maybe there's just, because there's that different approach and there's a lot of different thought that goes into writing prose versus writing a comic script, that maybe people just have like a different sort of way of working and explaining it. It is really hard to describe. I would encourage you to go to both. It's really neat, even if you're not interested in buying any of the books. Heck, just a couple weeks ago, I went to a little event at a local bookstore just to talk to authors. Go see authors, go see comic creators and artists uh, in their element, in the wild. Uh, at these at these kinds of events. Many of them are free. Uh, you know, if you're in Iowa, there's more and more stuff like this to find. If, if you're creative at all, like, these people will charge you up. Like, you will be excited about doing whatever it is that you want to do when you are surrounded by people who are so excited about what they want to do. Yeah, all right. Thanks, as always, for watching. You guys keep your stick on the ice.